Hello. In this session, we will see how to effectively handle the exceptions globally so that we need not to care about exception handling in every action method or handler. It will make our code clean as we will not need try catch blocks everywhere. In last session, we have seen that we use startup class configure method to build pipeline for our application. You can see that when we create API application by default template adds few middleware for us. For exception handling is set up developer exception page middleware to handle exceptions at development time. Let us try to understand how it works. Let us execute the application and try to request the story which doesn't exist in the database. So the path will be api slash stories slash the id. Now let us change this id to something which doesn't exist and send the request in repository cosmos db client will throw the exception that id doesn't exist and asp.net core will redirect us to developer exception page this is developer friendly page you can get all the details about that exception over here but this is only okay during development what about production we don't want to show all these details to our user in production environment if any unhandled exception occur, then we just want to give them one message that something went wrong. Please try again later. So to do that, one option is we can use built-in middleware provided by ASP.NET Core use exception handler. We can have else block here. If environment is development environment, then use developer exception page. Else if it is staging or production, then use exception handler middleware now in this exception handler middleware we provided some url so we need to make sure that this route exists in our application so we need to add one controller in our application say we can add a controller named error handler and we can set a route for it slash error and inside that we can handle that exception and for consistency we can replace this use developer exception page with use exception handler but with some different route like error local development and then we can add a controller and that controller's code will look something like this in that error controller you set up two routes one is for your development and one is for your non-development and then inside that you can have this handler method where you are handling the exception but in this session we are not going to use this approach we need much more flexible approach as we want to handle our validation exceptions, known exceptions and unknown exceptions differently. And we get all this flexibility by using custom middleware. So let us see how to go ahead with it. Let us come back to our startup class and undo all these changes. And let us add one folder for custom middlewares in our project. Let us name it custom middlewares. So all custom middlewares which we will build will go in this folder. Let us add a class error handler middleware. Now, as we have seen in our last session, there are two ways to do it. We can implement I middleware interface or we can just follow convention. We will be using this second option. So we will need one request delegate property and invoke method. So let us add request delegate property and add invoke method. Now, if you remember in last session, we have seen that exception handler middleware should be the very first middleware in pipeline so that if exception occur anywhere in the application should be handled by this middleware let us try to understand this easily using these function calls in this example there are four functions and fun1 is calling fun2 fun2 is calling fun3 fun3 is calling fun4 now if you want to do exception handling one option is that we need to put try catch block in all the all these functions or we can put try catch block in this first function so that if exception will occur in any of this function it will be handled by this catch block because anyway the control is going to these functions via this function so in our project we are going to do same thing but instead of putting exception logic in fun1 we are separating out in some other class you can visualize it something like this from this try block we are calling fun1 and then this chain will go on now if exception will occur in fun2 or fun4 ultimately it will handled by 
this catch block so let us implement same in our application in invoke we will have try catch block and from try we are calling the next middleware in the sequence and then normal pipeline will go on and this exception handler middleware we will put very first in the pipeline that we will see in some time now in catch block we will have some interesting code here we are creating object for our response we are setting content type to json then we are setting status code of this response to internal server error then to report exception to the client we will be using problem details problem details is a standard way to report the exception to the client this is a standard way defined by industry to return the exceptions irrespective of what technology you are using to build your api and then once we get exception data in this our object then we are writing that object to our response to write this object to our response we have to first serialize it to json so we are using json serializer now to get data in this problem details we need to implement this get problem details method so here is get problem details method what we are doing here we are creating object of problem details then we are setting status to internal server error type to http statuses dot com slash five hundred which provides information of all http statuses you can visit this url and check then we are setting title to something went wrong please try after some time and in details uh, we can have some texts like this we apologize for inconvenience please let us know about the error at this particular email id and we are giving them something known as trace id so that our support team can use this trace id to identify the exception in our future session we will see how to log these exceptions at that time we will also log this trace id to uniquely identify that particular exception now we need to use this middleware in our pipeline so let us go to startup class configure method and let us remove this default middleware now to use that middleware at this line of code here you can see that this is the very first middleware in this pipeline so that when execution will start it will go to invoke method of this class and from there it will redirect it to the next middlewares in the pipeline and if exception occur anywhere then catch block of that invoke method will handle that exception we missed one very important thing the constructor which will set next middleware in pipeline so let us generate it now try to execute and check if things are working properly now let us try to execute get story by id and let us pass the story id which doesn't exist in database and you will get problem details object like this so it provides you all the details that we specified in our catch block you can debug it once again to see how the flow is working when i am sending the request it will first hit invoke method of middleware as it is a first middleware in our pipeline from there it will call our next middleware so i have breakpoint on this get method now i can just continue and it will fail in repository layer as cosmos client will throw the exception and that exception will be handled by the catch block in our exception handler middleware so this problem details is very good for our non development environment like staging and production but what if we want more details in our development environment as we have seen on that developer exception page so let us handle that case we want this problem details in our production environment but in development environment we want actual exception details so to do that let us go back to our middleware now we want to create our problem details object depending on the environment so obviously we will need environment details in this middleware so let us add property i web host environment 
and this we need to pass while making call to this middleware so let us add this parameter to the constructor and in problem details now we will have code something like this we are checking if environment is development environment then in title we are setting actual exception message we are converting our entire exception object to string and assigning it to details so developer will able to see actual exception data and if environment is non-development environment like production or staging then we are creating this problem details as we were creating earlier now we need to pass this environment when we are making call to this middleware in configure method we already have this environment object we just need to pass this parameter here with this change in place let us try to execute it and check what difference it made let us send the request and this time when it will come to catch block it will have this environment information and we are checking if it is development it will create problem details object for us with all that exception data and you can see that it is giving you problem details with all that exception data which can be useful for developer now let us change the environment to production and then check if it returns valid problem details object or not you can go to launch setting.json file and can change environment variable here to production same thing can be done using visual studio if you will right click on this project properties on debug tab you can change that value from here also so let us run the application now let us send same request and this time when it will come to catch block the environment name is production so it will go to else block and we got this problem details data suitable for production environment so this is how we can elegantly handle the exceptions by writing our own middleware in next sessions we will see how to log these exceptions we will also see how to work with validation exceptions for now let us stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive notification whenever a new episode is published then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click on all in the pop-up. Thank you.